I'm just a little late. I had to put my helmet on as I navigated through Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Team of the week is here for preseason. Now, let me say, let's start out with this. For preseason team of the week, it's never going to be super, super exciting. You're not going to get big names. You're going to get different players who probably don't normally get cards or won't get any more cards for the year. That's totally fine for what it is. It's preseason team of the week, okay? <laughs> like, that's fine. But there's this thing in here. So first off, it says follow your favorite team season and receive boost based on the record. Equip in the offense or defense strategy slot it'll update weekly. And I was like, what's your favorite team? And everyone was like, oh, it's the favorite team you picked. But you can change it each and every week. So this is stupid. This is stupid. And these are bad boosts. I'm not using it. You probably shouldn't either. The fact that I can't quick sell it kind of annoys me at the moment. But hey, that's the thing. We also have a 5'7 wide receiver, a 5'9 DB, and the defensive tackle looks good. Now the rest of it, again, is this the way that team of the week is going to be forever? Uh, I don't know. Are we going to get legends? Are the limiteds going to be the same overalls as the heroes? Again, we don't really know all that sort of stuff. We'll find that out when week one team of the week comes out, obviously. But do your solos, right? As you do your solos here, you're going to get uh, an 83 overall, and you're going to get an 87 BND player from a fancy pack. Again, that's a W. It's nice. 87 is, is a useful overall of card. Maybe not the best cards, but it's still useful. I like it. Notice there's no team of the year token in here. Does that mean something or not? Again, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know why we don't know? Because there's absolutely no communication. There was none. There was none. Why? Why? If you're looking to build the best team in Madden, make sure you avoid the packs and save some racks. Heading over to MMOEXP.com. Use my code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description down below. Now let's look at the team of the week offers. Now I got to bring this up here. I'm going to hide my camera here. Ultra value. Ultra value is what this one says. So you got to open the ultra value pack. Uh, a preseason pack, a team of the week pack. One 83 plus, one gold or better at 77, two at 74, one at 70. 60,000 coins or 1,000 points. Well, we'll open more we'll points, I guess. I guess. Let's see. I don't know. You know I hate promo packs. I think if like this was a really good team of the week, you know, some of those ones in the past. Do you guys remember the team of the week? We had like Calvin Johnson and Richard Sherman. That was a good team of the week. This one is not a good team of the week. So... Uh, oh, so we got a bunch of gold cards for my 60,000 coins and we get a 83 Skylar Thompson. I'm also a little upset at this card art. I do not like this card art. Where's the green? Team of the week is green. And then maybe it's just because that green splashes on the screen constantly. Uh, but it is what it is. So the bundle is 12 of those packs. This pack right here. And then an 84 plus for a hundred, a hundred dollars, hundred dollars. That is a lot of dollars. Let's see what this is. It's 87 plus two slots team of the week cards only. I've seen people get good cards. I've seen nineties. I've seen limiteds. I've seen that. I've seen it. Um, so, you know, we weren't going to get it, but it's an ultra value, ultra values. I mean, you got, you got to go with the ultra value for sure. Um, I have another account. We'll open up another one. I actually have this bag over here too. 500 points for an 84 plus canvas hero. We'll check that out while we're here. Um, I mean, you can't pull a limit out of this, but maybe 87. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, and let's check our ultra value pack on this account. Again, this pack, I honestly, I have no problem for anyone to open. It's got value. Is it ultra value? I don't know about that, but it is a value. These 87s prices may change by the time you get on see stuff. Uh, 70 K that is really, really cheap. That is really, really cheap for an 87 overall. Now you need four of those, four of them, <laughs> four, four. And then it's like six other cards or five other cards. Let's go to the sets. I don't have anything on this account, so we'll just look at the sets over here anyway. Uh, for what the team of the week is. So again, if we want to look at T Y McGill jr, which is the good card, 
Uh, it is 487s and 683s. So you're talking, uh, what kind of price are we looking at? The 83s or so? I mean, 17K for the 83s is actually not that bad. Um, it is not that bad of a price point, really. But is that what you really want? Again, I, 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 I don't know. I'm not going to tell you to open packs or not open packs. I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to open the $100 bundle. I don't see the value in it at all right now we have a promo coming up we have ultimate kickoff we have legends which which is not a good value either don't get me wrong <laughs> but there's there's better open your special ultra super values and then like play your solos and then maybe pick up the card that you want would be my guess so apparently the uh, pff, the solo doesn't work anyway <laughs> no I'm not doing solos right now. I come, I'll come back later. Main account 84. Of course, we get the 84. Um, I tell you what, I tell you what, actually, we'll keep my 84s. Ultimate kickoff is coming. You should be kind of sniping some of those cards too. You know what I mean? Like, you should be. You should be. You should be. Should be. Uh, I never opened one of these. So let's open one of these while we're here. We have some extra points laying around, so we might as well. Uh, what I don't know what a Campus Heroes walk on pack really is. So, we got, for $20, we got, this. what we got. Okay. Um, no, let's open another one of these. I'm not opening the bundle. We'll spend our points here quickly just to show these to you, and you can really decide if this is something you really, really want to do. But to me, one elite card, likely an 83, it just ain't worth it. It's really not. Even though the 83s are selling at a high clip, 17, 18K is a nice price point for an 83. <sighs> I don't, I, I don't, I don't like packs that like just limit you. Again, this is all promo packs where it's like the good card you can pull is from the promo. But what about like legends are really expensive and all this sort of stuff too, you know? Am I really going to pull a legend out of here? No, I'm going to pull only 83 overalls. Which is exactly why this thing that says remaining three, it's going to say remaining three for as long as I can remember. Did they change this bundle? They did change that bundle. They did. They did. They did. Oh my God. Did they do? Is it because? EA Sports. Let's. I. When did that change? When did that change? Chris McAllister. Let's look at this set. My head is just spinning. I was like, that ah, can't be right. I forgot. You can't search from the set. <laughs> Duh. Oh my god. Okay. So we'll look at all these cards on the block here and just kind of give you like my the price point that I would get it at, you know, because some of you guys may have the theme teams that you want. Maybe a Cowboys theme team or or, or Niners theme team, right? These cards are now 86,000, 82,000. They're like 150, 170,000. And what did the 88s change to? 110 and then McAllister was like two something. They just really came down. It's actually not that expensive to get shocky. It's really not. Um, wow. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Right? 520. You can. You can build them for less than 520 probably. Uh, but team of the week, the 90 overalls Ty or T Y, I guess McGill Jr. Again, almost a fat guy. He's not 300 pounds, but he's almost a fat guy. 91 block shed, 90 power move is super nice. This is a super nice, solid defensive tackle card. Okay. Super nice. It's fine. This is like, this is a fine card. It's a fine card. No problems with that card whatsoever. Whatsoever. Solid, solid. We'll probably pick him up. Uh, Kevante Turpin. Well-deserved card, right? Well-deserved. What does he get? He gets spin cycle and like short and elite. Is his special abilities or whatever it is. Uh, but again, they actually raised his height in here. He's 5'9". He ain't 5'9", but again, that's fine. Make him a little more usable. It's cool. Good speed. The right running. If he was bigger, if he was 6'1", a lot of people would probably want this card. 
a lot of people would probably go for this card. It's just when someone who shows out is little, that's just the way it goes. Same thing with Samuel Womack. And we get Acrobat in medium route KO, five, nine corner. Him and Turpin, they're, they're fighting. It's like Xerxes and Scomo. Right? They're like the same height. These guys are the same height. Very similar cards, honestly, uh, between the two. So again, that is what team of the week is here. McGill is probably someone we'll pick up. The other two, I won't be picking up at all. Just there's no point. There's there, there really is. There's no point for it, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be great. Good luck. Hopefully you save some money because this is not where that money should be going. I'm out. Peace.